The final review is going to be on Transformers the Movie, Studio Series, Core Class, Decepticon Rumble, Blue. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to do a review on the Studio Series, Transformers the Movie, Decepticon Rumble, Blue, Core Class figure. This guy is the hottest thing this year. Uh, first, we go over the package, but very make sure you have one pile driver and two pile driver. Um, you don't want them to be stolen, so when you see this guy in the store, make sure you have both pile drivers. And then you have the Transformers, the movie logo, Decepticon Rumble, blue, because the one in the cartoon and the, cart and the uh, toys are different. Transformers, the movie... There's Transformers the movie logo. There's Rumble and his pile drivers. There's the UPC. Uh, core class figure. Core class figure. And then we have nine steps. Decepticon Rumble. Blue Transformers the movie. Alright, let's get this guy open and see how cool Rumble really is. Okay, now that we got Rumble out of the package, first we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet. <clears throat> Let's see, Decepticon Rumble, Blue, Transformers the Movie logo. <clears throat> Alright. His two guns could go on each of his arms like that. <clears throat> or, you can put the guns in the back of him, and this tells you how to use his pile driver. <clears throat> and on the back is basically construct, uh, transforming him into the cassette tape. Now, <clears throat> as all studio series, he comes with a backdrop. And this is called... <clears throat> uh, it doesn't say anything, but this is, I guess, the Autobot City uh, communication uh, tower. This is where <clears throat> Soundwave fought Blaster, and the first, um, the first time we saw Blaster's cassettes, and they all fought with Sound uh, Soundwave's cassettes. Okay, <clears throat> and then we've got with two little of these guns. Now the original, <clears throat> these were silver, and now they are white, and you can see they are obviously different because one goes on one end and one goes on the other end, and you ask if they are blast effect compatible, <clears throat> they are. Here's one, and we'll do, we'll do just these little ones that used to come with the Power Masters, and there you go. <clears throat> So, we got two guns, we got the instruction booklet, <coughs> <clears throat> these are the pile drivers, <clears throat> kind of hollow on one side, which is kind of disappointing, <clears throat> they didn't need to be hollow, but this is a core class price point, so I understand what they wanted to do, or what they had to do, and are they the exact same thing, yes, the exact same thing. And again, I kind of wish this little part extended or not, but it's all one piece. And you got some molding here. <clears throat> you got some molding up there. And you got, uh, I believe those are 5 millimeter um, ports for big um, blast effects. <clears throat> and we're going to get these big. These are Omega Supremes blast effects. And <clears throat> they fit in there. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and now for Rumble Blue. Now, <clears throat> if you're still wondering why is Rumble Blue or on the toys red? Originally, Rumble was red, Frenzy was blue, but when they made the cartoon, Sunbow screwed the colors up and called <clears throat> Rumble Blue and Frenzy Red, and now it's stuck. So from now on, Rumble is blue, Frenzy is red. <clears throat> Excuse me, and let's look at Rumble. He's got the red face, silver, or the red eyes, silver face, purple helmet. Pretty cool. He's got some nice silver highlights on his chest. He's got that little bitty Decepticon symbol. I like the three silver triangles pointing down in his crotch. <clears throat> pale blue legs and look at the paint you got red you got yellow purple blue uh, like a cream white they did do a good job on the paint on this guy's on the legs his arms you got some detailing on the arms <clears throat> and on the back yeah he's hollow 
but he's a core class figure. He's 849 or 999 or 1099, <clears throat> wherever he, you decide to get him. So he is going to be some hollowness, but <clears throat> all in all, not too bad. <clears throat> and as uh, per cartoon, you can put his rockets in the back like this. <clears throat> So you got Rumble there on the instructions. Here we'll do the instructions first. He's got him there. You can't put him in his hands, unfortunately. He doesn't have a hole in his fists. And he's got them there. So that is how Rumble is usually portrayed as. Now, <clears throat> for the instructions on the pile drivers, what you want to do is the arms go up here. <clears throat> And then you turn them sideways, turn these like that, close the fists in, close the fists in, and then these just go in like this, <clears throat> and you've got rumble with the proper pile drivers. Now here you have him bent forward, so we'll bend the knees forward, bend the knees forward. And you could almost kind of like that. See, like that? And there he is, still bent over. <clears throat> so, of course, when you stand them up, though, they don't quite go... They don't quite go to the ground, but they are pretty cool. We actually have Rumble with his pile drivers on a main line figure. <clears throat> All right, now let's get him back to robot mode. Take these off and get back to robot mode. Oh. <clears throat> and do articulation. So, the head, let's get rid of these first. The head does do 360 degrees. And you could look basically up and down, but you could move that for transformation. He's got no elbow, but his arms do a 360. <clears throat> they go out like that and they rotate. <clears throat> Nothing at the waist, and the other arm's the same way. <clears throat> he can kick up the 90 degrees, kick back, go out to the side. <clears throat> this is on a swivel, so you can rotate him at the hip. And he does more than 90 degrees for transformation. And the foot, well, they do fold up and down, but you can even say he's got some foot <clears throat> movement. <clears throat> And that is Rumble. All right. Now, <clears throat> this Rumble is made to work with the uh, Siege or Earthrise or all that mainline sound wave. <clears throat> so we're going to bring in <clears throat> the Rumble that they had to show you the difference. Now, this is a new mold, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> this... I know he's red, but yeah. <clears throat> so this was the original core class rumble. <clears throat> As you can see, this guy is taller. Yep, you can see the arms, he's taller. This guy's got foldable feet. And I think he looks more thin than this guy does. This was the original one. <clears throat> that came in a two pack, which you did. You had two packs that came with <clears throat> him and I don't know, say Laser Beak, maybe a Rap Back, and uh, we'll show you all the cassette tapes. Actually, sometime during this review, <clears throat> I'm going to show you all the different forms of cassette tapes because I figured this one to be a long review. So I'm going to show you the original sound wave with his cassette tapes. This is the Siege sound wave with cassette tapes. Then I'm going to show you the Bumblebee movie with the Ravage cassette tape. And then I'm going to show you Blaster and Rewind too. So, for right now, these are these two. So, obviously, see the differences. I mean, the arms, the legs, um, the back. I mean, this guy's got, I don't even remember what this was for. Yeah, so they actually have a new mold, pretty cool, and of course it's, even though it's a core class figure, it's still got to fit inside the sound wave. So, 
<clears throat> that is that. Now let's do some other comparisons what I'm talking about. All right, and for our first comparisons, <clears throat> we're going to bring out G1, Rumble, and Frenzy. So this is what we had in the 80s, and now this is the brand new core class figure. Much better. Smaller, but a better figure. <clears throat> and here are those two birds from the G1. We got Buzzsaw. Yeah. We got Laserbeak and Buzzsaw. And then we can't forget this awful Ravage figure, which was very thin. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> There's Ravage and Frenzy <clears throat> or Rumble. <clears throat> Next, we're going to bring in his thigh. So. This is the same size that fits inside Soundwaver Sound Blaster. But as you can see again, the difference is they just they took this guy and improved him. <clears throat> and then we're gonna bring in that same size laser beak. Now these will all fit inside the same Soundwaver Sound Blaster. Here is Rat Bat. <clears throat> and this god awful Ravage. There you go. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in the same size Rewind from Blaster. And then we're going to bring in the Cube for this is the sound wave from the Bumblebee movie. As far as I know, he's the only cassette that they have out so far is Ravage. <clears throat> and then we're just going to compare them to... Now, these are two um, Battle Masters, <clears throat> which was the old uh, Target Masters. And these are, I think, Blowpipe and Precus, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> this is the Quark. Now, they are Quark. both of these are Quark class figures. But they had to make them smaller because they used the extra plastic for the pile drivers. And so he could fit inside the, uh, the uh, C sound wave. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, <clears throat> core class spike. So that, I think, is good because Rumble is a little smaller than the humans, I believe. <clears throat> And this is Laserbeak from Dark of the Moon, disguised as Bumblebee. So, and then we're going to bring in again, this is his master that he fits in, signed Sound Blaster, because I don't have Soundwave. And that is all for the comparisons in robot mode. Alright, now let's transform this guy. Again, I think we're just going to go over one more time for the pile driver. Arms go up, turn sideways, fold the fists in. Arms go up, turn it one quarter turn. Arms go in. These go in this big space right here. Like so. And what we're going to do now is we didn't do before was we're going to put these on him. So now we really got some pile driving going. And uh, we'll give you the full effect like so. There you go. There is Rumble causing an earthquake with the Autobots. And he's pretty cool. I'm glad they... Uh, I think the core size class was the proper size to put this guy in. Okay, <clears throat> now for cassette mode, let's take these off and put these to the side. Now, we'll get his arms back out, his hands back out. Hands back out. And you just got to put your thumb in there. All right, <clears throat> so first we want to do is rotate the head around and the head will fold into this little space like that <clears throat> and then the arms are just going to fold up like this ok 
kind of like in the original one where his head bent down like that and then I'm going to fold in the hands <clears throat> like that <clears throat> notice he looks like sound wave okay now we're going to fold the feet up rotate this that way and then we're going to take this fold it up and what you can do is you're going to have this tab and there's a little slot in the arms so that's just going to pop in like that fold this up you got that little tab's going to go in that little groove and there you have his cassette tape mode <clears throat> and he's pretty cool now as you can see they use stickers <clears throat> supposed to be like the two um, the tool spool so that one is more robotic but this I think is the more cassette tape mode and uh, I think they did a good job he's pretty good nice and solid won't fall and then when you bring in the sound blaster again he can fit right in here and you can close it up and take them off now, Sound Blaster, I think when they, the only difference between this and Soundwave is I believe you can stack two cassette tapes in him. So, we're going to try taking these two. And there he is, Sound Blaster holds two tapes. And then there is both the Rumbles. <clears throat> and you can get him out if he ever gets out of this. This is tight, but not much you can do about it. There you go. <clears throat> and that is our <clears throat> our Rumble Blue. And if you want, you can put these on here. Like when I store him, I usually like to store them with their weapons on. Uh, let's see. There it goes there. I have misplaced some of my weapons, which you'll see. All right. Now let's do some cassette tape comparisons. Okay, so this was that rumble from the original sound wave figure for the Siege. <clears throat> and then, whoops, there. This is the Ravage from that same collection. Uh, let's back up. This is the Rat Bat from that collection. And this is the laser beak. So these all fit inside Soundwave. Or the, actually the one I have, I'm going to show you, is Sound Blaster. So those are all the cassettes for the... Now these are all the same size. They'll fit inside of them. <clears throat> and next we're going to bring in the original... These are my reissues. So these are the original cassettes. Here is Frenzy and Rumble with Rumble. <clears throat> now that's a G1 reissue, but these are what the mini cassettes were the first size of. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in our two birds, Buzzsaw and Laserbeak. <clears throat> and then this was the Ravage. These are fit inside another sound wave. Now this <clears throat> was the Bumblebee movie block not really a cassette but that's what he is and I want to show you him compared to uh, rewind or eject this is what blaster came with the legacy or kingdom blaster and then we're gonna bring in some of our these are Titan Returns target are what were these called these weren't target masters but they came out in the Titan Return line battle masters these are two Decepticons, two different ones. And then this is the Dark of the Moon Laser Beak Core Class. I didn't want to bring out all the Core Class figures. And this is the Soundwave Core Class figure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our Sound Blaster. Because I don't have Soundwave. <coughs> yep, that's your Sound blaster and this is going to put rumble right there in the cassette in his chest and close it up and that is exactly who this guy is made for either sound wave or sound blaster and he's stuck 
Actually, you know what you want to do is, I think next time I'm going to put him with this side in. So when you open that up, you can just take one of these, uh, stick it on here. Oh, it still I can't blow it out. All right, so that is Sound Blaster with that cassette. <clears throat> now we're going to bring in the sound wave from the Bumblebee movie. And we're going to put this guy in his chest and close that up. So that's one. There we go. <clears throat> now we're going to bring in the original sound wave. And we're going to stick... I don't think... Where's the blue? Here we go. And we're going to stick the original rumble or into his chest. And then we're going to bring in Blaster. And he's going to open up his chest. And Rewind or Eject is going to be in there. So these are the four types of cassette players that we have so far. <clears throat> we got Blaster and Rewind. We got the original Soundwave. We've got the new Soundwave slash Sound Blaster. And we got the movie version, which isn't exactly uh, a cassette player. It's more of a block. But I just want to show you the different types of cassettes to make this video stand out from the other ones. All right, and we'll just take Rumble out again. There we go. And put Sound Blaster away. And now here we have Rumble. <clears throat> and if you want, again, I usually store all my cassettes with their weapons on it. That's how you can store it. But the pile drivers, really no way to do it. <clears throat> and so now we're just going to transform Rumble back. So that's how he goes. Make sure his crotch piece is facing down. And then what you want to do is these, just accordion up, rotate, and you could bring out the foot. Again, you just accordion this down, rotate it, bring out the foot. You take these on this joint and you bring that down and bring the hand out like that. Again, you take this, move it down, out, and take the hand out like so. If I can get his hand out. There. And then you come back here pop his head up, <clears throat> rotate it around, and now you have Rumble back to his self again. And then you can complete the look with his blasters on his back. And again, to go to pile driver, you just turn these up, rotate them a quarter turn, put the hand in, rotate this up, Quarter turn, put this in. Pile driver goes in here. Pile driver goes in here. And now rumble. Okay, and I hope you like this review. I didn't want to do just a regular review. I wanted it to do something different more than any other reviewer. So I brought in all my different kind of cassettes and compared them to. And my final thoughts was I'm glad that they actually did this. I think the core class was the perfect size to do him. Because like I said, he's like either between $849 and $1099. And, and these other guys, these were a two-pack for like $999 years ago. So I think with today's prices, I think that's about right. And I'm amazed they actually came up with a whole new different transformation than the other ones again this is the same guy that fits in the same sound wave yet the legs are completely different these peg into here the arms are different the only thing different even the head this head disappears this one doesn't this one's got no feet so what they did was they took the same size cassette that they had and they improved on it 
and this guy is a big improvement. I think the proportions are perfect. Now all I have to do is come out with a frenzy, which they'll probably say frenzy red, and then you can finally have <clears throat> the pile driver brothers. All right, I'm glad you liked this review. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notifications. Not only do Transformers, but we do uh, DC characters, Marvel characters, new toy sightings. And I'm just going to play with them while I talk to you. Um, you know, we've got a whole bunch of Siege playlists. This is the new uh, Legacy playlist. Just check out the channel. Turn on notifications. Check out the playlists. Uh, if there's a link below to buy this guy through like Amazon or something, I am an affiliate, so that would help uh, greatly appreciate it. This is not my day job. I'm actually in the forensics field, and I just do this for the fun. I don't even get paid yet, so keep watching those videos and help me out. And as always, um, like what Rumble always says, first you crack the nut. And then you crack, first you crack the shell, and then you crack the nut inside. Rodmus Bill, out. Uh.